Hi students, I am Gopinath, 12th Business Max, XS 3.1, question number 7. Find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to 4. So, in the sum, path, you know, y is equal to x square and the equation of the type of parabola path is open upward. So, question number 6 we will discuss. So, in the x axis y axis note in the lab open upward diagram drop on a so it is a open upward parabola load of curve so next to pathina kudutha question le under the line y is equal to 4 mm -hmm. it is a limit point so y is equal to 4 under this a positive for y x is a 4 anger in the inger form so in the 4 under the say the other thing so in the point 4 it is in the left y is equal to 4 near there Next thing, the y is equal to 4 under point note for derivative note for 0, 4 in Solana. It is 0, 4. Next thing, now we have a question find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x square. So, for area, we have to say this axis is not equal to x axis or y axis is not equal to but in the limit point what contributed so limit point is like y is equal to y so therefore it is a y axis so the formula is like y axis is like the formula area of the formula is like a is equal to integral a to b that is x into dy it is the area of the formula so in the formula is like that is a is equal to integral a to b it is a y axis the formula is x into dy so x dy that is the extra term so we will take the equation that is y is equal to x square this is x term we will take the square root that is x is equal to root y so therefore we will enter the integral a to b the limit path is 0 to 4 so this is 0 to 4 and the external term on the root y into dy. That is important thing. In the area, in the curve, in the line, the area closed boundary region. So, this is full cover. This so, is the previous sum. Question number 6 drop. Now, the question drop is the question drop. This 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 is in the question number 6, Sanjeev Sanjeev Pohm, you will find the area region lying in the first quadrant. So, if you have question number 7, question number 6, as usual, it is one of the same. But, in the first quadrant, you will see this first quadrant. In the question number 7, you will not mention the first quadrant. In the curve, in the line, you will see the line in the bounded region. So, there are two quadrants. So, this is the cover and this is the cover. So, if you apply the formula, you will see the formula multiple of 2. So, it is different. So, you can put it into 2. And the root can be expressed as 1 by 2. So, if you want to put it in integral 0 to 4, in the 2 update, so y power of 1 by 2 is the formula apply. And it is a formula base power in relation of x power of n into dx. The formula is x power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. In the value of the value is 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So, formula is apply. So, 2 into that is y power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and cut so enter complete point down and the limit point is 0 to 4 and the limit point is entry point in the 3 by 2 so in the back of the room board divide term multiple of the number reciprocal change of one therefore you follow that 2 into 2 2 into 2 by 3 in entry point in the law and the y limit apply point again so y limit is 4 that is a 4 power of 3 by 2 and cut it அடுத்த லோய் லிமிட் அப்ளை பண்றப்ப மிடில்ல மைனஸ் அடுத்த ஜீரோ கூட இருக்கு 0 பவர் ஆஃப் 3 பை 2 இஸ் 0 னு வந்துரும் இப்போ நெக்ஸ்ட் சிம்பிளி பண்றப்ப நான் ஆன்சர் கிடைச்சிடும் சோ 2 2 சா நம்ம கிடைக்கும் 4 னு சோ 4 பை 3 னு கிடைக்கும் சோ இந்த 4 பவர் ஆஃப் 3 பை 2 நம்ம சிம்பிளி பண்றீங்க இந்த 4 எப்படி போலனா क्वेश्चन நம்பர் 6 ல போட்ட சேம் process தான் இந்த 4 என்ன பண்ணா 2 ஸ்கொயர் என்ட்ரி பண்ணிரலாம் சோ 2 ஸ்கொயர் தி ஹோல் பவர் ஆஃப் 3 பை 2 சோ இந்த ஜீரோ விட்டுறலாம் அடுத்து பாத்தீனா இந்த இடத்துல 4 பை 3 Next, this is 3 power to power multiply. 3 to the 6. 6 by 2, we have 3 in the room. So, for total, we have 2 power of 3 in the room. So, 2, 3 is 6. 6 by 2, 3. So, that is 2 power of 3. 
So, 2 power of 3 value is 8 in the room. So, in the room, 4 by 3 into 8. This is the same thing. Cancel the same thing. Therefore, 8 fours are 32 in the room. So, 32 divided by 3 square units. So, you will learn the same answer. Thank you.